Question 1. When picking up passengers, you should A. Stop a few feet before the designated stop and have passengers walk to the bus. B. Stop with the rear door aligned with the bus stop sign. C. Ensure the bus is positioned so passengers can board and exit safely. Answer. C. Ensure the bus is positioned so passengers can board and exit safely. Question 2. If a passenger appears to be intoxicated, you should A. Refuse service immediately B. Allow them on, but monitor their behavior C. Call the police before allowing them on Answer B. Allow them on, but monitor their behavior Question 3. When driving in heavy traffic, you should A. Weave between lanes to make better time B. Honk your horn to alert cars to move out of the way. C. Remain in your lane and maintain a safe following distance. Answer. C. Remain in your lane and maintain a safe following distance. Question 4. True or false. It's acceptable to allow standing passengers to stand forward of the rear of the driver's seat. Answer. False. For safety reasons, Passengers should not stand forward of the rear of the driver's seat. Question 5. Emergency exits must be A. Kept clear at all times. B. Only clear during emergencies. C. Blocked if the bus is full. Answer. A. Kept clear at all times. Question 6. When a passenger with a disability boards your bus, you should A. Ignore them and continue with your route. B. Offer assistance, but only if they ask. C. Announce to the whole bus that a passenger with a disability is boarding. Answer. B. Offer assistance, but only if they ask. Question 7. The maximum number of passengers allowed on the bus is determined by A. The number of available seats. B. The manufacturer's seating capacity. C. The driver's discretion. Answer. B. The manufacturer's seating capacity. Question 8. True or false. It's acceptable to refuel the bus with passengers on board. Answer. False. Refueling with passengers on board can be dangerous. Question 9. If you must evacuate the bus, you should. A. Direct passengers to take their belongings and exit quickly. B. Have passengers exit in no particular order. C. Instruct passengers to leave their belongings and exit in an orderly manner. Answer. C. Instruct passengers to leave their belongings and exit in an orderly manner. Question 10. When approaching a railroad crossing, you should. A. Accelerate to clear the tracks quickly. B. Stop, look, and listen for any oncoming trains. C. Depend solely on signals and proceed if they're not flashing. Answer. B. Stop, look, and listen for any oncoming trains. Question 11. The proper way to handle a disruptive passenger is to A. Engage in an argument to assert authority. B. Stop the bus safely and address the situation calmly. C. Allow other passengers to handle the situation. Answer. B. Stop the bus safely and address the situation calmly. Question 12. True or false. You should always assist elderly passengers when boarding or alighting the bus. Answer. False. You should offer assistance, but only provide it if they accept. Question 13. When driving in adverse weather conditions, you should. A. Maintain your regular speed. B. Increase speed to finish the route quickly. C. Reduce speed and increase following distance. Answer. C. Reduce speed and increase following distance. Question 14. If a passenger has a complaint, you should. A. Ignore them and continue driving. B. Listen respectfully and report the complaint to your supervisor. C. Tell them to complain to the company directly. Answer. B. 
Listen respectfully and report the complaint to your supervisor. Question 15. True or false? It's acceptable to allow passengers to exit the bus anywhere they request. Answer. False. Passengers should only exit at designated stops for safety reasons. Question 16. When approaching a bus stop with multiple passengers, you should A. Stop and allow them to rush the bus. B. Open the door before the bus comes to a complete stop. C. Stop the bus and allow passengers to board one at a time. Answer. C. Stop the bus and allow passengers to board one at a time. Question 17. If a passenger falls while exiting the bus, you should A. Continue with your route. B. Offer assistance and report the incident. C. Wait for someone else to help them. Answer. B. Offer assistance and report the incident. Question 18. True or false? It's the driver's responsibility to ensure all passengers are seated before moving the bus. Answer. True. The driver should ensure all passengers are seated safely before proceeding. Question 19. When a passenger is traveling with a service animal, you should. A. Charge an extra fee for the animal. B. Allow the service animal to accompany the passenger without any additional charges. C. Ask the passenger to provide certification for the service animal. Answer. B. Allow the service animal to accompany the passenger without any additional charges. Question 20. In case of an emergency, the first thing you should do is A. Call your supervisor. B. Ensure the safety of all passengers. C. Check the damage to the bus. Answer. B. Ensure the safety of all passengers. Question 21. True or false? It's acceptable to talk on your cell phone while driving if it's a quick call. Answer. False. Using a cell phone while driving is dangerous and prohibited. Question 22. If you spot a suspicious package on the bus, you should A. Open it to see what's inside. B. Ask passengers if it belongs to them. C. Notify the appropriate authorities and follow safety procedures. Answer. C. Notify the appropriate authorities and follow safety procedures. Question 23. When driving in foggy conditions, you should A. Use your high beam headlights. B. Use your low beam headlights. C. Drive without headlights. Answer. B. Use your low beam headlights. Question 24. Before starting your route, you should ensure A. Your favorite radio station is playing. B. The fare box is working correctly. C. You have had a cup of coffee. Answer. B. The fare box is working correctly. Question 25. True or false? You should always assist passengers with disabilities in boarding and alighting from the bus. Answer. False. You should offer assistance, but only provide it if they accept. Question 26. When making a stop at a designated bus stop, you should A. Stop in the middle of the road. B. Stop with the rear of the bus in the bus stop zone. C. Ensure the entire bus is within the bus stop zone. Answer. C. Ensure the entire bus is within the bus stop zone. Question 27. The primary responsibility of a bus driver is A. To maintain a schedule. B. To ensure the safety of all passengers. C. To collect fares. Answer. B. To ensure the safety of all passengers. Question 28. True or false. It's acceptable to eat and drink while driving the bus. Answer. False. Eating and drinking can be distracting and is not recommended. Question 29. If a passenger is causing a disturbance on the bus, you should A. Stop the bus and ask the passenger to leave immediately. B. Continue driving and ignore the passenger. C. 
pull over safely, address the situation, and if necessary, call for assistance. Answer C. Pull over safely, address the situation, and if necessary, call for assistance. Question 30. When driving in heavy rain, you should A. Increase your speed to reach your destination faster. B. Use high beam headlights. C. Reduce your speed and increase following distance. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and increase following distance.